Okay, good day class. So, this is still part of your occupancy rate uh, topic. So, hotel key performance indicators or KPI or key performance indicator. So, for hotel industry, these are values or metrics that measure the, part, the performance of a particular area of the hotel operation. This will allow the hotel to analyze and develop significant improvements that would help boost their property's performance. So we will be discussing the occupancy rate, ADR, and RIV bar. So for today, this would be our learning outcomes. Discuss the concept of occupancy rate, ADR, and RIV bar. Okay, so let us first define occupancy rate. So occupancy rate... It represents what percentage of the hotel rooms are occupied at a given time. Okay, so occupancy rate also measures the effectiveness of the marketing and the sales department as well as the front office in its external and internal marketing effort. Occupancy rate is calculated by dividing the total number of rooms occupied by the total number of rooms available times 100. And then, let's proceed to ADR. ADR, which means average daily rate. ADR, this refers to the average amount of revenue that generates from each occupied rooms. If the hotel rooms are priced differently, then it would be based on the number of beds, the location, or it could be based on the other factors a hotel have. ADR, this helps understand how much rent is earned by each room on average. Okay, so ADR of the hotel, it can change over time due to the number of influence that includes kanang mga season, um, time of year like holidays, a day of weeks that would be depend on the tourist market or even a the corporate market. Okay, so muna yung maka influence na nung ma change ang ADR sa Osaka Hotel. And then ADR of the hotel is calculated through this formula. Okay, so ADR it is the total room revenue divided by the number of rooms sold. Okay, so I will give you an example later on. And then, REVPAR. REVPAR means revenue per available room. So, REVPAR, this refers to the revenue generated per available rooms. If a property's REVPAR increases, well, it means that average room rate or the occupancy rate is increasing also. This is very important because it helps hotelier measure the overall success of their hotel. And then it is calculated by this formula. Okay, so rev part equals to occupancy times ADR. Okay, so let's take a look at this example. Okay, so here we have here a hotel. So the first aspect that we need to understand is how many rooms are available. And in our hotel here, we have 25 rooms. However, one of our room is out of order, maybe for renovation. Okay, so then we have 24 rooms available. The next piece of this puzzle is you charge your guests differently. Perhaps, uh, let's just say 2,500 for suite room. Okay, and then 2,000 for matrimonial room. And then 1,500 for single bed and 1,000 pesos for discounts and promotions. So, our total revenue here is 15,500. Okay? So, the next portion to understand is the occupancy rate. If you were to look at this hotel, you can see again we have 24 rooms. However, we have 10 of this room has an amount next to it. So, it means that only 10 rooms are occupied on this particular evening. Therefore, you divide 10 rooms over 24 rooms to get an occupancy rate of 41.6 or 42%.
Okay, now let's move to our ADR. Here, we take our room revenue, which is 15,500, and divide it by 10 rooms. Now, we have 1,550 per room. Okay, so here we have 1,550 ADR or average daily rate. But again, keep in mind that this does not account for those rooms that are setting empty. As you recall, this product is perishable, meaning we don't sell our product. Okay, we don't sell our product when night is over and we'll never get back that night. So, we cannot sell that night again. That's when red part can be a better matrix to ADR. This would be the formula. So here, we have our average daily rate of 1,550 and our rate was 42%, represented as 0.42. So we multiply those to get rev bar and our rev bar is 651. Okay, so that's how you're going to compute the occupancy percentage, the average daily room rate, and the Revenue, okay, I'm sorry, the rev part, okay? So, now, let's apply this to revenue management or to KPI, which is the key performance indicator. So, this is an important matrix that hotel use to better help us understand the hotel capacity utilization. Uh, here, we want to understand what happened when our rooms are unsold. As we know, it's perishable, so we cannot sell it again. So, this will help us forecast revenue for the future more accurately. And so also, we will include here the cost. So here, in this, in the next slide, you will understand the difference of each uh, performance indicator. Okay. Okay, so here. We have a hotel here named ABC Hotel, okay? So, the number of rooms available is 24 rooms and the fixed cost per room is 300 pesos, okay? So, fixed cost, this includes the room cleaning, kind of mga electricity expense, and other expense incurred during the operation, okay? So, we're going to try to figure out a series of days which is more, more which is most profitable. We have to look at a different statistic. So here, you will learn a few statistics that are used in revenue management. We're going to look at specific week. So we're going to go with the with Wednesday, um, Thursday and Friday. Okay, so just look at these three days as the prices go up and occupancy goes down to see which day end up making us the most profit. The thing to remember here is that revenue is not profit. It is the amount of money you bring in. You can bring in a bunch of money, but at the same time, you will lose a profit also. So let's take a look first at the ADR. Okay, suppose that our average daily room rate on Wednesday is 1,000. Since, for example, na is staying a group of people, so ni hatag kay discounts. Okay, and on Thursday, it is a little bit busier and the demand is increasing. So, ni hatag na po kag 1,750 na rate. Okay, and on Friday, since busy holiday weekend na siya, so the demand is higher since... Um, a lot man ang mo 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 vaca mo mo bakasyon or daghan ang mo kana bitong party party since it's Friday so wala it trabaho the next day okay so your ADR would be let's just say two thousand five hundred okay now with the occupancy remember we have a twenty four room so we have here the occupancy so, on Wednesday, since naghatag yung dako nga discount, so the occupancy would be, let's just say, 90%. So, that was a good day. On Thursday, so we weren't sold same on Wednesday. But remember, we sell it for the higher price compared to Wednesday. On Friday, so the rooms were really on pricey na. But 
the demand is moderate. So we have 50% or half empty of our occupancy. So we'll see which of this is important. Now we get the revenue. Okay, so remember revenue is the amount of money you bring in to the hotel. Okay, now you will multiply 1,000 times 90 to get the revenue. Okay, so basically you will multiply ADR times the occupancy to get the revenue. Okay, here on Wednesday you get 90,000 revenue and on Thursday you'll get 120,500 revenue and on Friday you get 125,000 revenue and the winner and the winner is on Friday okay and on Wednesday we had to clean as twice as many rooms compared to the other nights since that's my inyong occupancy rate and also on Friday we bring in more revenue and also our cost will be lesser because the occupancy is lesser compared to the other night but this does not mean nga mona ni siya mona ni ang imuhang profit na apat let's uh, dili to kalimtan nga na apat ta gibutang diha nga cost which is the fixed cost per room okay so in order to get the fixed cost per room or the cost you have to multiply the 300 pesos times the occupancy or on wednesday that would be 90 on thursday that would be 70 and on friday that would be 50 okay so this would be the result Okay, so on Wednesday, this would be the cost. On Thursday, that would be the cost. And on Friday, that would be the cost. Okay, so revenue. So, pila ang money nga imuhang gidala or pila ang money nga misulod sa, hot uh, sa hotel. And then the cost, um, pila ang expense or pila ang cost nga incurred during the operation. Okay, so now let's get the profit. So, simply the, uh, deduct the cost to the revenue okay so the profit on wednesday would be 63000 the profit on thursday is 200 101500 and then on friday is 110000 okay so our winner here is friday and the thing is that and the thing that is so good is that on wednesday 90% we incurred twice as many housekeeper and as much as food food nga nga, nga na incurred on Wednesday. So, dako kayo ang expense niya. Dako kayo ang cost niya. Since tungod sa kataas na ayahang occupancy rate, taas po kayo ang cost niya. And it results to lesser profit na nakuha. ba? So, unlike on Friday, nga lesser ang yang occupancy, so lesser po ang yang cost, and then naka-profit siya, o oh, mas dako compared to the other night. Okay? So, this is where revenue management is really important. Although, it really feels bad to have half of your hotel setting empty, but it shows you that it will generate more profit compared to the other day that will have more occupancy. For, it will incur more cost. Diba? So, nakita mag ninyo ang difference. Ano niya? But again, um, not everyone or this situation is applicable na siya always. Kay di ba, sa ako nang giingon kaganihan na ay mga dif mga indications na maka-affect ana niya. Okay? So, very important good that you will determine on what specific date kung kanus aka mo offer og discounts. Kay base og di offer kag discount niya peak seasons di ay na. And then the the market or the people are willing to buy higher prices, di ba? So, saya. Okay? So, that would be all for this slide it's very short lang na siya since I, I, I just want you to show how to compute the occupancy the ADR and the rev part and I want you to realize good kung unse difference between the three okay so thank you everyone and god bless and keep safe